Hello, this is Hardik with ENM, and today I'm going to talk about the new Smart Access Wi-Fi module for the Siemens V20 VFD. So, how do we commission a drive currently? We click through tiny buttons on the drives and scroll through thousands of parameters. And then we have to remember each parameter number and the corresponding values for it. We hope that we entered the right values. We have to either look for special cables in case we have a software to connect to our computers. And most of the times there is no diagnostics information. There are error codes, for example, A1234. And then if something doesn't work, we don't know why is it not working. So what if, wouldn't it be nice if we could dramatically reduce the commissioning time and commission a brand new drive quickly within less than five minutes? And we wouldn't need any paper manuals or documents at all to refer to. There was a nice graphical interface that we could see on our phone or our tablet and then quickly commission the drive. And the best one is no special cables. So we don't have to go and look and search for, oh, where is my cable and I need this connector and so forth. And then you had all the commissioning functions instead of just parameter number. So rather than parameter number one, two, three, four, it would say motor voltage, motor current, whatever the values are in English text. And then you could see all the diagnostics information and alarms in simple plain English text rather than error codes. Let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to show you the Smart Access module for the V20 drive. It's a Wi-Fi add-on card that enables wireless hotspot to our V20 drive so that you don't need a cable to commission the drive and talk to the drive. You can simply use your phone, use your phone's Wi-Fi and communicate to the drive. It's pretty nice, it snaps on directly on the drive. So there we go. Now it's on and there's a little switch, turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot and to commission the drive all we need to do is put in the motor nameplate. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have my phone, here's my Wi-Fi hotspot list, different Wi-Fi access points available on my phone. To make it easier I am projecting my phone on the TV so that you guys can see. So as you can see, I'm connected to my V20 wireless hotspot. Once you are connected, simply go to a browser, put in the default IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. And now you're connected to the web page of the V20 drive. You can simply go into quick commissioning. So if I click here into quick commissioning, it says, do you want to commission it? Yes. Here is all the basic information, pretty much the modern nameplate. It's a 230 volt motor, 0.72 amps, 0.12 kilowatts, 50 hertz. Let's say in case I want to change a value, I can simply click on anything, type in the new value I want and save it. Hit next, next, and next. In case we want to change up a ramp up and ramp down times, let's say I want to ramp up at three seconds and ramp down at three seconds. So my minimum speed is zero hertz, maximum 50 hertz, three seconds up and down, hit next and save. So I can quickly commission the drive using my phone through wireless hotspot. And then I can go into this jog mode and put it into hand mode, get control of the drive, click OK, make sure that we know there is no one near the drive. And now I can turn on the drive so you can hear the drive is on and now with this slider, I can change the speed of the drive and you can see it's running. So right now I have 28 Hertz and I can see all my current and voltage values right there. Let's leave it back around 9 Hertz, 8 Hertz, 7 Hertz, I guess. And then see the speed is lower down. I can turn it off. Make sure you click on free control back. Now we can go back and look into different options. There is a monitoring option. So it shows us different values, what the set points are, what the motor temperature is, what the voltages are. You can look at all the faults and diagnostics information. So if there is any fault or alarms, you can see everything here. There's an option to send, which is email. So you can email all your fault information. And there's also backup and restore. So I can back up this commissioning file and save all these parameters to my phone and then restore it back from my phone to the drive. Again, there are different options with quick commissioning. Look at all the parameters. We can jog into manual mode, monitor the motor values, diagnostics, and backup. Thank you.